everybody, it's me, Bubbly Oasis, and I'm back from my vacation in sunny Orlando, Florida. So if you guys missed my update last week, yes, I went for my birthday down to Orlando and I stayed at the beautiful Cabana Bay Beach Resort, which was very affordable because Jody cannot afford to stay on the lovely Disney properties. And I went to Islands of Adventure, which is the Universal Studios theme park. Didn't have time to do Universal Studios itself, but we had to make a choice between one of them and I had to see Hogwarts, so it was totally worth it. And I also went to all the Disney parks, so we went to Animal Kingdom, which is one of my favorite parks because it's very, it's almost like half theme park, half zoo. The only problem was it was so hot out there. I nearly died and we had to, well, I didn't die, but the sun was so intense that we literally had to make it a half day and go home early because it was so hot out there. And it's only May and it's only gonna get like 30 degrees hotter come July and August. Anyway, we also went to Magic Kingdom and it was amazing. I went there on my actual birthday, which is May 11th, and I got to go on all the rides that I wanted, but I also got a horribly bad sunburn. Not on my face, although as you can see my face is pretty red here because I was well covered up for most of the day. It was on my legs, surprisingly, and I had this really weird heat rash, but anyway, lesson learned. Next time I'm wearing a long skirt that's a little more breezy. And then the next day we went to Hollywood Studios, which is one of my favorites because it has my favorite ride of all time, the Tower of Terror, otherwise known as the Hollywood Tower Hotel. Anyway, on our final day, we went to Epcot, the experimental prototype community of tomorrow, which was one of Walt Disney's most famous uh, city planning designs that never made it to fruition because he unfortunately passed away before it could see the light of day. But now it's a wonderful theme park focusing on the present, the future, and the world as we know it. So it's got a lot of cool stuff there and it's very science based. So if you're someone who likes the sciences, biology, like things like that, you're gonna love it here. It's so much fun. And anyway, I, I love Epcot. It's my favorite park, as you can see. <laughs> Anyway, one of the things we got to do while we were there is go to Club Cool. And Club Cool is a new exhibit since I was last there. And basically it's, it's sponsored by Coke. And you go inside and there's all these free soda machines. And each of the soda machines in here has the same eight drinks. And these are different drinks that are only served in these countries around the world. And there's one drink in particular that is notorious among visitors to this location and to other people who have visited uh, Coke's other um, sponsored events around the world. And that's the Italian beverage known as Beverly. As you can see, I took a little picture here of the, um, the description for it. Beverly, with its bitter flavor, is a popular non-alcoholic aperitif that is a traditional part of Italian refreshment culture. Now what that means basically is that it's taken before you eat a large dinner and it's usually accompanied by small snacks like probably some well if you're in Italy probably um, a meat plate with some meats and cheeses and perhaps a little bit of uh, the traditional bread there and perhaps like some olives or nuts or small just small snack items that you would eat before dinner and with, if you've never been to Europe in general, over there they drink a lot of sparkling water before their meals. And sparkling water is seen as something that's very good for your digestion. So uh, so taking Beverly is what you would do um, before you have a big meal to basically help aid in your digestion. This has never been scientifically proven with a lot of soft drinks, but it's just part of the culture over there. And if you've never had regular sparkling water and you're a US citizen like me or someone who hasn't been exposed to that culture, it's incredibly bitter. Um, and I, <laughs> and this one is absolutely no exception. And actually starts off a little bit sweet but then there's this bitter undertone that if you're not ready for it, it it'll give you quite the big reaction so without further ado I'm going to show you my reaction to trying some of this so check this out this is Beverly and I was told I should try this it tastes like mouthwash 
Pops. <laughs> no, wait, it's got like a sweet taste. And then it fades away, and then... Oh, oh it tastes so gross! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I better finish it off. Cheers. <laughs> oh, you're such a trooper. It doesn't get better with age. <laughs> oh, man. The eyes are watering. Oh. <laughs> Whole cup. Good job. Whole cup. <laughs> yeah, so that was me trying to Beverly, as you can see, as someone who has a huge sweet tooth and someone who's been drinking soda for like most of her life. It was such a big shock to try something like that, but it was a lot of fun. And I heard a lot of people saying, oh, you should, don't do it, don't do it. It's like, it's terrible. It'll ruin your day. And I'm like, it totally didn't ruin my day. It was actually a lot of fun. And out of all the flavors that were in here, I actually liked, um, my favorite two that I had were the Melon Frosty, which had a green melon flavor, and green melon soda is one of my favorite things that I could get in Japan, and it's one of my absolute favorites. And they also had a Fanta Pineapple, and I'm not normally a big fan of Fanta, but I really like the pineapple flavor. It was super good. And some of these other ones are pretty interesting too. Like I was thinking the Vegeta Beta from Japan was gonna taste more like a carrot soda, but it actually tasted, uh, it will, it, like just from looking at it, but it actually tasted a lot more fruity and it was very refreshing as well. Most of the other ones I like. The only one I really didn't like was Beverly, but that's kind of how it is. Because I knew I wouldn't like it because it's bitter and I have a very good sweet tooth. But anyway, I thought I'd share that little moment from my trip with you guys. And I hope you guys had a good week too. And if you ever think about going to visit Disney, send me a message. I can give you all the good tips on what to see at the parks down there in Florida. And how best to keep yourself hidden from the sun. Because I partially failed at that when I was at Magic Kingdom. But I have learned my lesson. I have learned some good tips and tricks. And I guess if you want to see a video like that, let me know. And I'll post one up for you guys. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little look. And I will see you guys next time for one of my Let's Plays. So this is Bubbly Oasis. Sunny off with very really bitter soda, but I'm not bitter. I'm not. It tastes like <laughs>